Welcome to Coming Home program, day 10. So we've been progressing well and understanding what is mindfulness and with mindfulness, how we can look deeply inside us and around us. And the news that I get, I do hear that a few places things are becoming better, people are suffering this, but many places, uh, because of coronavirus, people are suffering. They are stuck in homes. And a lot of people who, are, who have, don't have much saving, they are going through a very difficult time. So when we go through difficult times, we suffer. So today I thought, let us look into suffering from the lenses of mindfulness and compassion. I'm going to share a quote by my teacher, Venerable Thiknathan. And he says, when we understand our own suffering, it becomes much easier for us to understand another's. Understanding is a gift. The other person may feel understood for the first time. Understanding is the other name of love. If you don't understand, you can't love. If you don't understand your son, you can't love him. If you don't understand your mother, you can't love her. To offer understanding means to offer love. Without understanding, the more we love, sorry, without understanding, the more we love, the more we make ourselves and others suffer. So it's very important to look deeply into our suffering and what it is, what does that suffering is all about, rather than fighting that suffering that we are experiencing it is important to look into what is happening with us with being compassionate towards ourselves we can look into what is bothering us and then we can see what we need to support ourselves and when we look into ourselves and support ourselves, we truly, truly can understand and support and take action, whatever is required. And in the similar manner, we can support others around us. And this is truly loving oneself and loving others. So today we are going to meditate on being mindful about our suffering and we will use our breath as an anchor to bring us back into being mindful, being aware of what is happening in the here and now in our mind and in our body.
I invite you to sit comfortably with your back straight. Take a posture that can support you till the time you are meditating. Please close your eyes. Those who are comfortable closing the eyes and those who are uncomfortable closing their eyes, they can leave their gaze 45 degrees towards the ground and look into something, hold the gaze gently. And now take three deep breaths and relax your body with each out breath. And now you can release your deep breaths and be easy while you're breathing. It's a guided pro process, so just follow my voice. I will be inviting the bell from time to time for you to have a reminder to become mindful. If your mind wanders into some thoughts and feelings, it's okay. Just gently let them go and come back to your awareness of your breath and the suggestion that I'm making. Breathing in, I become aware of my body. Breathing out, I relax my body. Breathing in, I become aware of my body. Breathing out, I relax my body. In, aware of my body. Out, relax my body. Breathing in, I feel joy to be alive. Breathing out, I smile to life. Breathing in, I feel joy to be alive. Breathing out, I smile to life. In, joy to be alive. Out, Smile to life.
Breathing in, I become aware of my suffering. Breathing out, I smile at my suffering. Breathing in, I become aware of my suffering. Breathing out, I smile at my suffering. In, aware of my suffering. Out, smile at my suffering. Suffering is like a dark cloud over the blue sky. As the dark clouds never stay permanently, they keep moving, coming and going. So there is impermanence of the suffering and whatever we experience in our life. It keeps changing. It reminds us this too shall pass. If your thoughts or feelings have been hooked to some suffering, observe. It's like the dark cloud. Breathe in and out and observe.
Now take your awareness towards your breathing. As you breathe in, become aware that you're breathing in. And when you breathe out, become aware that you're breathing out. Observe how the breath goes in and out. In and out. Keep maintaining this space as we proceed towards our second practice of gratitude. Today, let us invite those five things or people in our lives that bring peace within us. The experience of feeling peaceful. Invite each one at a time and see deeply what are the gifts that these things or people give you that help you in the experience of feeling peaceful. And now we proceed with our last practice of loving kindness.
It's an invitation to have openness of heart and expansion of the mind through experiencing and expressing love and kindness. Visualize that, that you're experiencing joy, love, and it is permeating through each cell of your body from head to toe, from front to back and all over. Visualize it as a beautiful pink light and your whole body is radiating with that light. It's a warm, beautiful pink light and it is growing inside you. and it is growing further and you're bathing in this light. And you see that it is flowing out and it forms a beautiful circle all around you. And you are experiencing a lot of love, kindness, joy within you and around you in this circle. I am going to share some affirmations you can mentally chant and experience them. May I be well. May I be healthy. May I be safe. May I be strong. May I have the power to accept and forgive. May I love and appreciate others boundlessly. May I have the strength to overcome all my struggles. May I get all the happiness I deserve. May I always be surrounded with people who love me and care for me. And now let us invite our loved ones in this beautiful circle 
of love, kindness, and joy. May you be well, may you be healthy, may you be safe. May you be strong. May you have the power to accept and forgive. May you love and appreciate others boundlessly. May you have the strength to overcome all your struggles. May you get all the happiness you deserve in life. May you always be surrounded with people who love you and care for you. And now invite people who are acquaintances, people who are unknown, far and wide, invite them into your circle. Visualize that the circle is becoming bigger and bigger and everyone is included in that circle, known, unknown, near and far. May you be well. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you be strong. May you have the power to accept and forgive. May you love and appreciate others boundlessly. May you have the strength to overcome all your struggles. May you get all the happiness you deserve in life. May you always be surrounded with people who love you and care for you.
And now let us make a circle even bigger and warmer with love and kindness and lots of joy. Today we are also going to invite those who have been difficult in our lives, who have harmed us. We are going to invite them also because they are the ones they are truly, truly suffering. And they do not know that the actions have harmed you and your loved ones. They are the ones who really need a lot of love, kindness, so let us invite them in this beautiful circle. You are not just alone, you have so many others who are there in the circle. Let us give them that space and that experience of love and kindness so that the best in them that, that can shine through them and they are relieved of their suffering. So wish for them. May they be well. May they be healthy. May they be safe. And now rub your palms, make them really warm. And then take them to cover your eyes. Feel the warmth of your palms. And then rub it all over your face. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Pick up a word or a phrase that comes to you as an affirmation. Hold it as an intention and a dedicatory wish to guide you through the next 24 hours. Let this word or a phrase help you be mindful and compassionate. Whenever there is a discomfort, it's a moment to become mindful. And the moment you become aware, it's a practice of being mindful and practicing compassion. I want to thank uh, Marilyn, who is uh, there every day and Charter for Compassion to support our practice. I want to thank all of you for being here and practicing together. And let us create a ripple of love, care, compassion, kindness, not just for ourselves, not just for our loved ones, but whomsoever comes in contact with us and wherever we go. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow at the same time with an extended practice. Stay safe, stay healthy. Namaste. Namaste.